over the paper disentangled behavioral representations, which we really presented in the Revis 2019 conference. There are some similarities between how humans make decisions, but there are also some differences between them. And here our aim is to represent differences between the subjects or individual differences in a low dimensional space. Each subject can be thought as a dynamical system which takes the past experiences, action and rewards as input and makes future choices. And given the observations from these different dynamical systems, you want to find a low dimensional representation for the space of dynamical systems behind how different people make decisions. This is the architecture that we have proposed. The data of each subject is represented as a set of actions and rewards, which are then fed into an encoder layer, which has a recurrent neural network, which absorbs the whole data for its subject, and then maps that to a point in this low dimensional space. On the other side, we have a decoder which takes the coordinate for each subject and then builds the weights of a recurrent neural network, which presumably is similar to the underlying dynamical system behind the subject who generates those choices. And then we train this whole network using three losses. We have reconstruction loss, which says how well this uh, network can predict the choices of the subject on the, uh, that was fed to the model. We have this entanglement loss, which makes the dimensions of the latent space to be decorrelated. And also we have separation loss, which was a novel contribution of the current paper, which makes the different dimensions of the latent space to have a separate effects on the behavior of this learning network. In other words, it makes them to have uh, to map to different facets of the behavior of the learning network. And as an example, we have a data for human subjects from three groups, bipolar, depression, and healthy, and then we map them to a low dimensional space. And as you see here, along the Z2 axis, uh, the behavior nicely segregates along healthy, unipolar depression, and bipolar subjects. And then we can interpret the meaning of this dimension by generating networks for each value of Z2. And as we see here, for healthy subjects, uh, they mostly stick with one action, but with bipolar people, they constantly switch back and forth between different actions. We have more experiments using synthetic data in the paper. Thank you.